Hello out there in YouTube land. <laughs> okay, so some of you guys wanted to hear my husband's opinion about um, J-Lo and Ben's relationship. We'll just touch on it in a bit and then I'll ask him a few other questions about some other topics and see where it goes. Okay, so Eric Reed. <laughs> Man. What do you? He's so cute. What do you think about Ben and Jennifer's new relationship? Um, it, it's interesting dynamic. I like it. I'm rooting for them. I am. Yeah, I am too. They seem uh, uh, a little bit opposite. He seems a little bit more introverted. She's a little bit more extroverted. But they it seem to go well together to me. Do you think? Um, with all the stuff that's surrounding them, like arguing, not arguing, but making little gestures, mm -hmm. making little gestures and stuff like that, um, with each other, like at the Grammys, mm -hmm. at the award show and the car slam, like that. Yeah, Do you yeah. think that is just hoopla or? No, what? no, I don't think so at all. There's definitely a little bit of tension there. Uh, I think where there's smoke, there's a little bit of fire. Mm. And I think that uh, she's a little bit on the controlling side. Oh. And I okay. think he, it may be grating on him a little bit. I could see that. And, uh, yeah, but I, I definitely think there's a little bit of tension there. But I do think they're physically attracted to each other. For sure. Do you think that when he first started dating her, he, like, he regretted it back in the day, not actually being with her, and that's why he went so hard to try to date her and... You know, I don't know. I think I think when they first started dating, I'd heard it was a big hoopla, and I think I think he wasn't ready for that almost. And I think I'd heard his buddy Matt Damon say the same thing. Uh, it, it impacted him. It made him even bigger. in the be in the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I think it was a bit much. And maybe mm. this was a way to. I don't know. I think he's always been attracted to. Her. Right. Yeah. But you know, I think this was an opportunity for him to kind of go back, and, and he's a little bit more mature, I guess, maybe. Is the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Now that he's in it, do you think he's like, oops, maybe, maybe, uh, At times, oopsie he daisy. probably thinks that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when she starts nagging at him about his gambling or his, or his card games or his smoking or whatever it is, uh, you know, and it looked like at the Grammys, she was, you know, she was getting after him because, uh, you know, I guess he wasn't as enthused as she wanted him to be or whatever. And the cameras were on them, and uh, she didn't like that. But no, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're an interesting couple. I think they're, they're. I'm rooting for them too. Okay, we're gonna switch the subject for a moment. Sure. And I, um, I don't know if you've seen the Chris Rock moment when he goes in on Megan. He pretty much tells her that um, you've hit the lottery by marrying this prince, and now you're sitting around complaining about it. <laughs> And acting stupid, like you don't know who the royal family is, and um, about, and then he mentioned something about the race, um, the color of Archie's skin. How she was saying that, um, oh, um, they had, the royals had a, a a problem with that. What do you think about that whole situation? Well, I didn't get a chance to see that bit yet. I want to watch that. I know you talked about it. Um, I, 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 you know. It is kind of crazy, uh, you know, she marries this prince, but I mean, she just seems like she just, she can't get away from the royal family quick enough. The skin uh, tone of the baby, I, I, to me, that's something everybody's a little bit curious about. I mean, I, I don't think it was meant as a, as a racial thing, you know, for them. I think they were just curious, you know, they were kind of wondering uh, maybe how dark the baby was going to be or what, but... Um, uh, right, and so then Harry comes out and uh, two years later, because for the longest time, everybody thought that, you know, the royal family was racist because of what she said on the Oprah show. Yeah. So do you think that, shouldn't they have came out and made a statement saying that we're not calling the family racist? Yeah, I wish they had. And I thought Harry had, didn't he try to do something like that or no? Well, two years later. Yeah, yeah, two years later. But after, you know, the damage and they'd said all this stuff and implied all this stuff. Uh, yeah, I think they should have. I think they, you know, but they didn't. They sat down with Oprah and had that whole thing with her and really painted them in a horrible lot. So that was, that was, 
big mistake, I think. And they should have. They should well, have. you remember when they went to New York, right? Um, yes, I and, do remember that. And that, what was it, the Kennedy, Karen Kennedy Foundation uh -huh, or something like that? Uh -huh. And they accepted an award. That's right, they did. Which was like basically standing up against racism. Was Within the royal family. Yeah. It was specific to that. Yeah, it was very specific. It was just kind of a strange award. <laughs> kind of a strange deal. But yeah, no, uh, they, they, they're, I think, I think they're wrong on that. I, I don't think that they're racist, the royal family. I think, but there was probably some curiosity more than anything else. That's what I would say to it. So they really pretty much owe a lot of people an apology for having us thinking that. Absolutely. Because, and then they try to put they, them, and insinuate a lot of things. It's a lot. And, and putting planting seeds in people's head into thinking that, you know, the royal family is racist. Yeah, they should have retracted that immediately. They sh first of all, I should have did this book. Yeah, that was horrible. Because uh, now, I mean, you're just pouring gas on the fire. You're making everything. And, and now there's talk they're going to do another book and Megan herself might do one. So, But he just did a live therapy session with a therapist. Yeah. And you had to pay $33 let me get in the picture. You had to pay like thirty-three dollars for the for the um, if you wanted to say something, yeah, or that's, uh... and if you like they had like a two for one thing. <laughs> so then, <laughs> if you if you're watching the um, the therapist session, uh -huh. you also um, what was it? You get, you get a book. Off the book. Or yeah, something like that. that's a interesting. Like they need more money. <laughs> right. And the big the big deal is, is that, you know, Charles is going to be crowned king. Mm -hmm. and the coronation coming out. Yes. And it's really supposed to be, the focus is supposed to be on him. Yeah. And yet, you know, they, they managed to steal the spotlight, try and steal it away from him, put it on themselves. Uh, and they, yeah. And what about the, the christening? They, like they just did this, that this past weekend, they did a christening for Lilibet. And they gave her the title princess, uh -huh. and I don't I don't think Charles came out with a statement stating that he was going to bestow upon them titles. Oh wow! So they just kind of presumed. Don't you think that of, they should have? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, or waited until they put it on the world website because that's what they said they were going to do. Announce it. They were going to update the site. I think I think they're they're at war. Basically, is what's going on here. These two, these families are, this family's at war, uh, and um, everything is on the table at this point. We're seeing all kinds of stuff, books. Who lit the fire to the flame of this war? Who, who shot the gun first? Wow. I mean, it looks Who's like Megan. Who's shooting the gun? It looks like <laughs> Megan to me. I mean, you know, and I don't think she, and we talked about it before, I don't think she really wanted to be in the family, the royal part of it. She likes the prestige behind it. She likes all that, but she didn't really want to be there. She was looking to get out of England. You know what? You, when we were talking about this long time ago, you were always giving them the benefit of the doubt. You never was like going in on them like I was mm -hmm. because you always felt like Harry didn't really want to be in the family anymore or that he wanted to get away or maybe he just wanted to leave, you said. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was trying to I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt in the beginning. I do think he's got a little rebellious streak to him, and uh, so I, you know, I still, I think there's a little bit of that, but absolutely, I think you know she's been the driving force behind all this this chaos that's going on right now. Do you think he's in an abusive relationship? Um, no, more manipulating yeah, than abusive. Yeah, maybe more of that. I would say, if I had hmm. to say, yeah. But I mean, he's he's in it. He did his book and everything. So, yeah, it's a uh, hmm. it's some crazy stuff. <laughs> Do you think it will ever end? Like this will stop? I don't think so. I just like what you just said. The war. There's a war going on, and I think that Megan is the um, the general. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. She's she's kind of pulling the strings. Although she's gone quiet here lately. I haven't heard much from her lately. Well, she did that latte commercial, and just like one of my subscribers said, she was on there, you know, smiling, I think, when the lady mentioned Duchess of Sussex. 
And yeah. they was not supposed to use that name. Like she's not supposed to use that name mm -hmm. because she's not a working role anymore. Supposedly, uh, like they took away the HRHs, but you know. Yeah, that's what I mean. She 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 really doesn't. She likes the title, but she doesn't really want to do the royal stuff. I don't think. No, she wants to be in Hollywood. Yeah. She wants to be with Oprah and Tyler Perry then, and hang out with the celebrities, because. You can't tell me that she didn't even invite her father to the christening. Yeah. But why would she? She's ghost yeah. him. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Because it looked like, at least the videos we've seen of them when she was younger, it looked like they had a very close bond. Yeah. Very close relationship. And now to find out that, I mean, it's almost like... Non-existent. Yeah, like he just doesn't even exist. He that's hasn't terrible. seen his babies, his grandbabies. And I just think I that know. that is just so mean. I think she needs Like, why would to, she be that cruel? I think if she's tried to patch some things up with her family, and then if she started showing some change, you know, in a positive light, I think I think it could help her image a little bit. But then that would that would mean she would have have to admit that she's done something wrong, and, that, and that's not who she that is. Might, yeah, yeah. But I mean, just just reaching out to your dad that would be a big deal. Reach out to him. Try and try and. Try and get something going there again with him and uh, work it out with him. That that would be good in the public eye. People would look at her a little differently, I think, if she did that. Okay, last thing I was want to say, and then we'll wrap it up. Mm -hmm. um, since the Queen's passing, doesn't it seem like they've ramped everything up? The Queen just passed away a mm -hmm. couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. Then you had the floppy series, and then you had the mm -hmm. spare book, and everything else in between. And so, and, and you can't tell me that, like, what what's tripping me out right now is that, and maybe I'm wrong, or maybe I'm not getting the full story, mm -hmm. is that she gave, uh, Harry thought it was a good idea to give Lilibet the um, name Princess, the title. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, a lot of stuff happened after the Queen died. It seemed like everything did get ratcheted up quite a bit. And so, also, and that's that rebelliousness I was talking about with him. I think there's a little bit of rebelliousness, and then you know they were a little bit rebellious on the other side too, a little bit. Who? Well, you know, I'm just thinking at the at the funeral. You know, they didn't let him wear his military uniform, or they didn't want him wearing it. Yeah, you didn't like that. I mean, you know, I mean, I you didn't know. like it. You just thought it was like a shame. It, it could have been. It could have been. It could have been looked at that way. It could have been taken that way. He mm -hmm. might have taken it that way. I don't yeah. really know. And then, uh, but yeah. Um, but you know what? If something had to happen at the funeral, which it did, uh -huh. they would have mentioned it because that's how they are. Right. And so, because they talk about how Megan wasn't invited right away to leave with him to go see the queen as soon as they found out she was uh, yeah. passing. And he was late because they were having an argument because I want to go, I want to go, I want to yeah. go. He puts it in his book. Oh, wow. Yeah. That it was an issue. And I just thought that that was just I very distasteful she's, that he added to the book. She, I, I hate to say it, uh, she, she is narcissistic. I think she does have a narcissistic personality. Yeah. And so when I talked about her reaching out to her dad, I don't know. She's going to have to, I don't know if she can do that. If she can, if she is right now, she's showing us, you know, what, who she is right now. Her popularity in the United States is less than Andrew's. And that's pretty pathetic. Yeah, that's not good. And they started out very popular, didn't they? Yes. So you think there's a, a way back? Uh, possibly. Possibly there could be a way back. But she's going to have to show a completely different side of herself than what she's showing right now. For the public to even believe that there's a human being in there. Because South yeah, Park went in. They did. I she heard. said she they didn't have a soul. Real. All right, guys. That's my husband take. All right, guys. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye. Have All a right, great take evening. Take care now. Bye-bye.